We, if you look over time for free movement of labor, and the Chancellor has already said how beneficial it is for all sides, that you see we have had this process of partial brain drain in any country that was in the accession process. And the closer you come to accession, the less uh, strong this effect is. The solution is in raising the living standards. That's our common goal. But they are also below that one because this takes time. And this is, of course, for uh, families, for example, in the Western Balkans who want to keep their young people uh, close to them, a difficult question if you see the time dimension. Um, there are quite good examples uh, where you have agreements cross-border, for example, for medical doctors to have an exchange for a few years and then to come back and to deliver on the experience that is gained. And there are many uh, very good examples for that, so this is something we can, can learn on. And as you, Prime Minister, raised the question of universities and cooperation, and of course in universities are, for example, also medical faculties, um, this might be a topic that we should uh, develop in depth. Uh, also, for example, Erasmus, so the movement of students, um, within the Western Balkans and the European Union. We have started work on that, but it could be a very interesting point and deliverable for the Western Balkans Summit to come with solutions and to come with proposals on this, for you, so important question.